Welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, we will learn the difference between physical capital and human capital. Human resources are vital from the point of view of economic development. In the modern world, all the planners believe that the building of a strong nation depends upon development of people and the organization of human activity. If this resource is developed properly, it can do wonders. The development of human resources means increase in the quality of human beings which help in the process of growth and development of the economy. In the words of Professor Whipple, a nation's true wealth is neither in its land and water, nor in forests and mines, nor in its flock and herds, nor in dollars, but in its wealthy and happy men women and children physical capital and human capital the economic development of a country is possible only when there is optimum utilization of physical and human resources first we will discuss physical capital it includes all those inputs which are required for further production like plant and machinery factory buildings raw material etc the physical capital is needed to make use of physical resources its accumulation is quite important for economic growth of a country. The ownership of physical capital is the outcome of the conscious decision of the owner. The entrepreneur possesses knowledge to calculate the expected rates of return to a range of investments and then rationally decide which one of the investments should be made. The physical capital formation is mainly as economic and technical process. Now we come to human capital. It refers to the stock of skill, ability, expertise, education, and knowledge embodied in the people. Human capital is needed to make effective use of physical capital. There is a need for investment in human capital to produce more human capital out of human resources. Societies need sufficient human capital in the form of competent people who have themselves been educated and trained as professors and other professionals. In other words, we need good human capital to produce other human capital, say doctor, engineer, etc. A country can turn physical resources like land into physical capital like factories. Similarly, it can also turn human resources like student into human capital like engineers and doctors. But the forms of capital formations are outcomes of conscious investment decisions. Human capital creates both private and social benefits. Nature of benefits from human capital are different from that of physical capital. Human capital benefits not only the owner but also the society in general. For example, an educated person can effectively take part in a democratic process and contribute to the socio-economic progress of a nation. Similarly, a healthy person prevents spreading of contagious diseases and epidemics by maintaining personal hygiene and sanitation. Thus, human capital creates both private and social benefits. On the other hand or on the contrary, Physical capital creates only private benefit. It happens because benefit from a capital good flow to those who pay the price for the product and services produced by it. So this is the meaning of physical and human capital in general. Now we will do the comparison between the two, physical capital and human capital. First point regarding the difference is, physical capital is tangible and can easily sold in the market. Tangible means which can be touched. On the contrary, human capital is intangible and cannot be sold in the market. Next difference is physical capital depreciates with the passage of time. On the other hand, depreciation in human capital can be reduced by making continuous investment in education and health. Third point, physical capital is more mobile between countries, whereas Human capital is less mobile between countries as compared to physical capital. Next difference is physical capital like machinery, 
factories can be separated from its owner whereas human capital like skills of a person doctor engineer cannot be separated from the owner next difference is physical capital is the outcome of conscious decision of owner and is mainly an economic and technical process whereas formation of human capital is partly a social process and partly a conscious decision of the possessor of human capital and the last difference is physical capital can be built through imports whereas human capital formation is to be done through conscious policy formulations so these are some of the difference between physical and human capital thank you for watching edupedia world videos